Over the past few months, stores all over America have been reporting a shortage of baby formula. Parents expressed their concerns that their children could risk starvation due to the lack of baby formula. Some politicians have been less than sympathetic to their plight. I think it's high time we stop this moaning and groaning and tell babies everywhere to just grow up and to stop, well, being a baby. There are plenty of alternatives to baby formula. Think of how your children were raised in ancient times. I say if parents can't find a way to feed their kids and they are unfit and ought to be put in jail. The reaction, unsurprisingly, was harsh. Meanwhile, at the White House, the president, in his ingenuity, held a press conference. Now... I understand we're going through tough times. We're, we're, we're dealing with food shortages and, and inflation and international sanctions against a country whose resources the world depends on. But we all need to man up, grit our teeth, and hunker down and get on with it. That's what we do as Americans. Any questions? A toddler waddles over and hands him a rattler. He holds it up. Ah, good. Uh, 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 Monty here wants to know if we'll take a heavy-handed approach to getting baby formula to families. And my answer is yes. By God, I will stop at nothing to ensure that you and your parents get the baby formula needed. I swear that I will sign an executive order to make that happen. Obviously, the press conference was a success and the president's approval rating rose. Others, however, were not so effervescent. Can I just say the president did not sufficiently answer any questions posed by the audience. He was there for 30 minutes and only answered one question and to be frank, I think that person was a plant. He sounded like he was reading from a script. I mean, my god, we can expect a heavy-handed approach from this present on matters of this importance. And how do you feel about the audience? I'm frankly disappointed. They had all this time to ask any question they wanted, but they didn't. It just goes to show just how willing we've become as a nation to enable this madness. Even though they were all below the age of two. Listen, my daughter is six months old, but she can ask the most profound questions. Why, just the other day, she asked about our country's possible response should Russia strike Poland. Just so deep, I, I mean... It's moving. She's an example of the kind of hope we can expect in a generation of degenerates. People of America, do a better job at raising your kids. Teach them to ask the more profound questions. And the debate continues. In a week onward, there is still a baby formula shortage. And some parents have taken to extreme measures. Well... A month ago, no one even thought there was a dairy farm in the area. Barely got any visitors. But now I can't get enough milk to meet the demand. And in the new rush, new voices mer emerged to criticize this. This is stupid! While my baby brother gets all the milk he wants, I can't get enough of my cereal! I'm telling on you! And now tell the president you're mean and won't let me have enough milk for my cereal. 